You know? Here's what I'll say about this game, right? Steelers, I can't even trash you. I really can. And I know I normally would sit here and trash you. Because how that first half went, you should be trashed, right? But in that second half, you showed some AFC North football in you. And I got to give you props. Because that right there is why I have that small little tiny respect for the Squealers. Because in all tenses purposes, the Browns went out there, right? The Cleveland Clownies went out there and they embarrassed the AFC North. They went out there and they looked like crap. They looked like a joke. It was a dumpster fire, right? It was an absolute travesty watching the Clowns. They put a bad look for the AFC North. They made the AFC North look like the weakest division in football because we just let a clown into the playoffs. And for most of this game, Steelers, you guys did the same thing. Other than getting a touchdown because of a blocked kick, you guys looked like a joke. But in the end, you came back. And you made it a seven-point game. And yeah, you lost. But at least you made it a more reasonable and logical loss. Except for that last drive where you guys really just had no brain, I feel like. Like, I, I don't even know what you guys were doing the last two drives. The, last, the second to last drive, you guys just started checking it down and throwing it three yards a piece and four yards a piece and that was it. And then the last drive, like, I don't even know. You had no urgency. There was no urgency at the end of that game at all. And I wanted you guys to lose. That's the sad part. It's just like, I at least wanted you guys to try and look someone decent. Like, there was a part of me, though, I will say, that thought it would be hilarious if Buffalo lost this just because Buffalo could choke it away. That was a little bit part of me. I wanted the Steelers to lose. I always want the Squealers to lose. But there was that little part of me that was like, what if Buffalo chokes this away? And to be honest, the Steelers almost made that a reality. Like, again, like I said, I got to give you respect because you did not make the AFC North look like a joke. You could have lost this game 31 to nothing. To be honest, how it started, you looked like you were probably going to. But instead, you made it a reasonable 14-point loss. Where, if you look at the fact that the number 2 seed beat the number 7 seed and you only lost by 14, that's actually not that bad, Steelers. That is not that bad. We could de we give you okay because you lose and you're out. And you're one and done, by the way. And I will say it like this, right? Because I'm going to put this part in here, too. All that talk. All that talk about how you knocked us out of the playoffs. We're out. We knocked you out. We knocked you out. We knocked, like, all that talk about how we missed the playoffs. Who they eliminated. That's what Browns fans and Steelers fans were saying to me. Who they eliminated. Well, now you guys are also eliminated. But you know what the difference is? You made the playoffs and went one and done. We missed the playoffs. You might say, well, that's better for us, right? No, we have the 18th overall pick. You have the 21st overall pick. You went to the show just to get slapped the fluff out and leave. Now, in, again, in the, in the situation that at least you guys lost in a reasonable fashion, I give you your comeuffance, right? But at the same time, they'll never talk trash again. We get a better pick. We get a healthy quarterback next year. And we're going to be coming back a thousand times stronger. So, why well, again, you guys made the playoffs. Congratulations. This is why you don't trash talk when you barely make it in. Because you're not going to do anything. You're just going to get beat and you're going to go home crying. And that's exactly where Steelers are sitting right now. And I'll tell you this, Steelers, right? Here's another thing. This, and you might say, well, at least we made the playoffs, right? Here's why it's not a good thing that you made the playoffs. Nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. And I know a lot of Steelers fans. I've seen them in my chat. I see them on Twitter. They say, oh, I, I, we, want, we want Mike Tomlin going. You want Mike Tomlin going. You want this guy going. You want that guy going. You don't like this. You don't like that. Well, guess what? The only way those things happen is when you lose. And if Mike Tomlin keeps up that perfect 500-plus record and he's going to the playoffs, even if he loses, nothing is going to change. 
you're going to find yourself in the same mediocrity for the next 27 years, and it's going to be a one and done. Maybe you make the playoffs, maybe not, but you're one and done in the playoffs. You're going to be the literally, you're going to be the AFC version of the Cowboys. And if you're okay with that, you're okay with that. But that's not how we play. Over here in Cincy, we're going for a Super Bowl. We're going to get a Super Bowl. And we're going to finish the job. But again, listen. You guys beat us twice this year. You guys play us very tough. And both times you played us, we didn't have Joe Burrow. But at the same time, that doesn't matter. You know, there's no excuses. You play who you play, right? You didn't play us not wanting to play Joe Burrow. You probably didn't want to play Joe Burrow. But the point is, you didn't go into that game and we say, oh, you can't play Joe Burrow. So at the end of the day, it is what it is, right? I, there was a part of me also that wanted the Steelers to win just for the fact that I feel like the only team that can beat Baltimore right now in the playoffs is Pittsburgh. And I feel like truly that is probably the true fact is that I feel like the Steelers would have beat the Bills here. They probably would have beat Baltimore. And that's the sad part. Because one team that owns the Ravens is the Steelers. That's just a fact. Steelers own the Ravens. Browns own us. Steelers own the Ravens. So that's the only thing that kind of makes me a little upset is if the Steelers would have went ahead and won, they would have at least beat the Ravens. But even then, I mean, at least I don't have to worry about Steelers fans and Squealer fans in the playoffs. So it's a win-win for me, right? It's a win-win for me in the end, I think. But at the same time, Steelers fans, stop all the trash talk. Stop all the... If you're going to go one and done... And there's no way you couldn't have predicted this was going to happen, okay? There's no way you could not have predicted this was going to happen. Don't even start with me on that crap of, hey, we thought we were going to win the Super Bowl. Ain't nobody thought they were going to win the Super Bowl in Pittsburgh. Unless they're delusional, nobody thought this team was going to go win a Super Bowl. Stop the cap. Stop the cap, Pittsburgh. There's no way you thought this team, with how they play and how they were getting outscored every single game, barely getting by, backup quarterback was going to win a Super Bowl. Stop the cap, okay? It wasn't going to happen. So the fact that there was all that trash talk was just a joke. You guys lost. You guys are now out of the playoffs. Enjoy your 21st overall pick. We'll enjoy our 18th overall pick. And you know what? Maybe three picks before you, we'll probably we might take the guy that you want. So you might want to trade up. Because guess what? It is what it is. You guys are going home and enjoying being home. Nice and safe at home. Not in the playoffs. Enjoy the couch. We've been there. Now you're joining us. Welcome, Pittsburgh. We saved your spot. Peace out.